Hello, this is Kyle. Let's write some code. Today we're going to be transforming Browserify bundles or writing Browserify transforms. And if you've never used Browserify before, I have an earlier video which goes through getting started with Browserify, and I will post a link in the description. And then also there's another one uh, about streams which would be helpful but totally not required. Um, so anyways, so what are transforms? Transforms are a thing that you give to Browserify and Browserify will give you files and then you transform those files and give it back to Browserify which ends up in your final bundle. Uh, so a good way to find uh, Browserify transforms, existing ones, is to go to npmjs.com and just search for browser, that's a good keyword. Uh, it usually will give you modules that are compatible with Browserify, or even better, just type in Browserify and you'll find uh, a bunch of modules that are related to it. Um, a common convention is to end the package name with ify. Uh, it's not guaranteed to be a Browserify transform, but it's just a very common thing that people do uh, when creating Browserify bundles, but really, Browserify transforms are neat because they just use streams and there's a lot of streams on uh, NPM. Uh, so chances are you can get pretty close with an existing module that just uses streams and go from there. So once you have found the transform you like, uh, then you install it. So I'm just going to install one uh, called BRFS and this lets us uh, inline files into our bundles. So once you have a, uh, a transform installed, uh, you can go here to uh, say your, your start script or maybe it's a build script if you're using uh, Browserify directly. Um, and so you can just type in Browserify and then we'll give it the file that's our entry point. So here I'm just gonna use index.js, um, which I don't know, we could just say console log hi. Um, and from here, uh, we can specify the output file by putting dash O, and we'll just call that bundle. And then to specify a transform, you put dash T for transform, and then you give it the transform name. And so we'll use uh, BRFS here. Um, so that's how you would do it if you're just using Browserify directly to, uh, to build to a script that you would distribute or uh, you know maybe put on your, your server. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, Budo, and uh, this basically just run, runs a server for me and compiles with Browserify on command. And so I'm going to do it Budo on index, and then I want live updates. And so every change, it uh, it recompiles. And then I'm going to use two dashes here, and then anything after here is basically uh, Browserify options. So I'm going to put dash t and then brfs. So that's the same thing as uh, the previous one, except now we're running it through Budo, which will compile um, with Browserify on every change. And there's one other way to uh, specify it. In here in your package JSON, if you specify a Browserify key, and then within that specify a transform key, you can, specif you can uh, uh, list all your transforms that you want Browserify to use here. And then no matter if you're using Browserify uh, here or you're using Budo, uh, basically if, if Browserify is bundling here, it will check for this key and use the transforms here. So sometimes that's a nicer way to do it. So now we can use this transform. Uh, in our index file, uh, we're gonna require uh, the FS module and so typically uh, you would read this file and we got a file here called bears.txt which just is full of bears um, and you would this is the same uh, as you would do on uh, with node.js uh, but what browserify is going to do um, is uh, it's going to inline this bears.txt file into our bundle um, and so we will have access to uh, to console log out uh, this bears here so I'm just going to save this and then I'm going to run uh, npm start to start up our uh, Browserify Budo uh, server here and then refresh this page. And as you can see, uh, we get the list of bears inlined. But we want to write our own transform, so let's do that. Um, so, first, I'm just going to install Browserify directly here um, and save it to my uh, dev dependencies. And we don't need this anymore, so we're just going to delete that. And then over to our package JSON here, um, I'm going to create a build script here, just so we can just use Browserify directly and see the output, uh, which is sometimes a little bit easier when working with transforms. 
So we'll just specify the index file and then we'll just say out uh, equals bundle.js. Um, and so now we're ready to create our own transform. And so we just create a new file and I'll just call it uh, transform.js. It doesn't have to be called transform.js. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. Um, so here in our transform, instead of brfs, uh, we're going to use our own. And so you use uh, dot slash to specify a local file. And you know this can be in a whole separate folder if you wanted, if you are organizing things a little bit better than I'm doing here. Um, but for now, I'm just going to specify dot slash transform.js. So Browserify will use uh, this local file as our transform. So let's go ahead and write a transform. Um, Browserify is going to call uh, whatever you uh, export. And so we're going to export this function here. And then it's going to supply a file name of the file that it, it is transforming at, the, at that time. Then it expects you to return a stream that modifies the contents of that file. Um, so to, uh, to create a stream, there's an easy module uh, to do this. And so it's called through2. So I'm just going to npm install through2 and save that to our dev dependencies. And then up here, uh, I'm just going to create a variable called through. Let's say require through, spell it right, spell it right, through2. Um, and so now I can return a stream created with through here. Um, and uh, and Browserify would use this stream to manipulate our file. So just to make sure this is working, um, I'm going to console log out the file name here. And then in our package JSON, we have uh, a build script set up here to run Browserify, and we have our local transform all ready to go. So now we can type npm run build to run that script. And sure enough, we get our console logged out file name of the uh, only file that Browserify is currently trying to bundle, which is our index.js uh, file. So uh, back to our transform here. Uh, through is going to take a couple of um, arguments here. Uh, so the first one is uh, a function. And how streams work is they, the, the, the contents of the file is not necessarily going to give the entire file to you. It's going to give, it's going to stream the parts. So this first function here um, is each of the individual parts. And um, so, I mean, if, if you are, if you're fine just transforming the individual parts and you don't need the entire file, um, you can call this push um, after you transform the part. So maybe, maybe you did this, maybe you say, okay, this part to string, and we just want the entire, um, we just want the entire bundle to be uppercased for whatever reason. Um, you can call, you can basically do this. And so what we're doing is we're just transforming this part of the file to uppercase, and then we're pushing it uh, into the stream so it will be um, written out. And then we say, okay, now next we're ready for, um, we're ready for more parts here. Chances are that you probably want the entire file. So uh, we're just going to create a, um, a little array here called entire file. And so then as each parts come in, um, instead of pushing it directly back out to the stream, we're going to push it to this array here. Um, so we'll just say push part like such. Now we just specify a second uh, function here. Um, and this function is called when the entire, when the stream has finished, when it's flushed and, and you have the entire file. So at this point, uh, each of the parts get pushed onto this array. And so now we, we should, by this point, have the entire file available in this array. So now we just need to uh, join up this file um, and we'll have the entire file available to us uh, to transform. So like, for instance, if maybe this is a JSON file, um, then you, know, you can call JSON parse on the entire file here. And, um, and read this data here. But for our file, our transform, we want to transform this. Uh, so instead of just saying hi, because that's so informal, we, we, want to, we want to say hello. Um, so now that we have the entire file, um, we're just gonna go through and uh, replace any instance of hi globally with hello. So we've just transformed our entire file. Um, and so the next thing we need to do is we need to call this push to push this chunk, this file uh, along to the stream, to Browserify, to bundle. 
and then we're going to call done and let the stream know that uh, we're ready for more more things. And and at this point, it would be more files um, if we have it. So let's test this out. Let's run it. Let's type npm run build here. The browser file will run this transform, transform our file, and write out to this uh, bundle.js. So let's go ahead and check it. And lo and behold, we get console log hello instead of hi. Uh, we've transformed our Browserify bundles. So hopefully this has helped you learn to transform your Browserify bundles. And if it has, please share the video and let other people know how to transform their Browserify bundles. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.